Well, it's time now to take a look at what's grabbing headlines around the world. And for that, I'm joined in the studio by Solange Mujer. Hi, Solange. Hi, Haxi. Now, you're starting uh, with a debate uh, over the merits of waiving COVID patents, COVID vaccine patents, I should say, uh, a move uh, very much supported by US President Joe Biden. Yeah, it is the announcement that changes everything, or at least that is the opinion of Le Temps, the Swiss paper. And on its front page editorial today, they say lifting patents is a question of equality and humanity. Countries across the globe have echoed their support, or at least like the EU, uh, vowed to look into the idea. But Germany has come out against it. And the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung backs Angela Merkel's stance, arguing that incentives to provide vaccines need to be maintained and that patent law is the building block to all of that. Now, these two visions are hinted at in Hermann's cartoon uh, for in the Tribune de Genève. You have a cigar smoking executive saying to Joe Biden, let me explain capitalism to you. The irony there, of course, it's the president the United States. Well, the patent uh, debate doesn't uh, just seem to be about capitalism and altruism. Uh, the press, uh, in many instances, saying this is also a political question. Yeah, it's not as simple as let's all share the wealth. Uh, Der Tagerspiegel, the German paper, says the move uh, could be very much symbolic or purely symbolic, that while it is a historic and revolutionary shift, it would have to pass a World Trade Organization vote, which would take a while, not to mention getting factories and quality uh, checks up in developing countries. Now, the paper argues that, that, that what this is, according to them, is pure vaccine diplomacy, they say, that it helps Washington get closer to Indian, to India and to other developing nations, and that it is a checkmate move for the U.S., one that is counter, uh, a counterweight of sorts to China's vaccine diplomacy. And in that vein, Politico says that Biden is winning the PR war here, namely in regard to Europe. It argues that Washington has snagged uh, Europe's moral high ground and painted them as the villains a sort of tough love coming from Biden that Politico says extends beyond uh, patents um, and it goes to areas like tariffs and energy as well. OK, well, shifting gears slightly now uh, with some environmental news that could soon affect what's on our plates. Yeah, it is time to eat bugs, or in the very least, eat things that eat bugs. Liberation explains that three French ministers inaugurated the groundbreaking of a new factory that will farm beetle larvae. Uh, it'll be the largest uh, such farm in Europe. And while the little bugs from that farm will be used for animal use, they'll mostly go into the feed of fish or farm fish that we eat. Um, Directly eating such a bug flower, well, it could happen for us soon as well. Le Monde tells us that the EU has okayed the use of insect flour for human consumption. Now, the ick factor aside, uh, the paper explains it'll be good for the planet. And I say, hey, if the cookie stays the same, just don't read the labels. <laughs> <laughs> Not that everyone would agree with you there, but True. I'm sure you've definitely uh, got some people who agree with you on that one. <laughs> Finally, Solange, uh, some more environmental news uh, that some people might might find as off-putting as eating insects. Yeah, not showering has become a thing in this COVID world. At least that's according to the New York Times. It explains that many Americans uh, have been taking fewer showers, not only because it saves water, but mostly because they haven't been seeing as many people. Now, this habit switch has been happening in the UK as well, where a poll showed that nearly tw there's been a 20% drop in the baths and showers that people take. And many people say actually that their skin and their hair are doing all the better for it um, and that they plan to keep it up. Now, of course, there is an ick factor here, or a potential ick factor. This potential hitch, of course, is body odor. Yeah, the pandemic. Yes. Uh, not great for deodorant companies, yeah. great for your skin, possibly. <laughs> there you go. Alain <laughs> Mougin with a look at the day's uh, top stories. Thank you very much.